to be back in the house of the Lord this morning. It is a pleasure to, to be here, and I enjoy some of the song service. It seemed like one of the songs I just couldn't get the thing to it, but anyway, uh, uh, I enjoy trying to sing it. We want to, we want to study some this morning in the book of Mark, and, and if you would look in the Mark 7, and verse 25. Mark 7, 25, and I'm sure that y'all, y'all have read this and remember it and, and all these things, but it's, it, there's some stuff here that uh, I'm, I'm not blessing out of study. So uh, in Mark 24, I mean Mark 7, 24, we'll go to the Lord and word of prayer before we get our service started. Father, we ask this morning that you would bless the service, bless the effort that I uh, put out, Father, to read thy word and to uh, not say anything that would be displeasing to you, Father, and that we might all get a blessing out of it. Help us all to hear and understand. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. In verse 25 of Mark 7, a certain woman whose da young daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell at his feet. Now, <clears throat> this, this lady had already heard him preaching, and, and I want to show you something, uh, and just hold that place, but in Matthew's Gospel in 15, 21, we want to read another little scripture here, in 15, 21, it's about the same thing, only tells she was a con uh, from uh, uh, Canaan, but anyway, in verse 21, there are, then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre of Sidon, and a woman, uh, and behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And uh, his disciples, this is what I want you to understand and see. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, and saying, Lord, help me. Now, back in our lesson, back in Mark 7, we want to see here this woman as she comes to Jesus and the disciples uh, have the wrong attitude because evidently she had been already asking them and in times past the disciples had the same problem with uh, people asking them or asking them to pray and to cast out spirits and, and one uh, uh, place there he, the disciples asked Jesus why could we not cast these devils out or these spirit, right. bad spirits out? And he said, because of not, uh, you, 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 you need to pray more. <coughs> you need to uh, be closer to the Lord. And this, this here reminded me of that. But th these disciples, they desired for him uh, to tell her to leave. But he didn't because he said, hey, I've not come to thee. Uh, the Gentiles yet, and that was during his lifetime, mm -hmm. and because he was sent, he was sent to the Jews, he right. was sent to his people, the apple of God's eye, that's who he was sent to, and so he told, he said to them uh, over there in the other reading, he said, I've not come to, to the Gentiles yet, but, but here's the thing, this lady that was asking him this, she had heard him preaching and talking, and evidently she had got a sense of things to come because mm -hmm. listen uh, in verse uh, uh, 3 he said uh, no I'm sorry uh, bear with me just a minute let me get this right like I want it uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just hang with that the devil won't to mess this up uh, Mark 7 I'm in the wrong chapter Wrong verse. Okay. Now, in verse 25, that this woman had came to him and, and uh, pleading with him for her daughter and, and had an unclean spirit, and she knew what the problem was. And you know, the 
people back then could see the way that the evil spirits work because you recall in another place there when a guy a man come to Jesus and asking him to uh, cast out this demon and this spirit out of him he said oft times he casts him in the far and then he waters and he vomits and he foams at the mouth and all these things and they could see the the presence of the evil spirit but they couldn't right. do anything about it and so they knew they knew what it was all about and and you know we this to this day and time uh we see signs but hardly ever you see so much so many direct signs of people mm -hmm. doing this and doing that but listen we know of the things that are going on in this world through god's <coughs> word that is against his his word and the people are putting their approval upon it and so it's it's the same thing only here they're asking for mercy they're asking for help yeah. and so this is what this is what happened to her uh, and so the woman was a greek uh a Syrophenic by nation and she brought him and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter but Jesus said unto her, Let the children, now notice, let the children first be filled, for it for is not for it is not good to take the children's bread. Now what he's saying here is this morning, he was not talking about a loaf of bread. He was not talking about anything like that, but he was telling this lady, listen, I came to this to the nation of Israel. Amen. And Jesus is the, the bread of life to the Jews. And this is what he's saying to her this morning. He said, here, he said, here, uh, let the children first be filled. Amen. For it is not good or meat to take the children's bread and to cast it unto the dogs. And so he was very plain. And today, if we was to use such words, we would be called the rudest person in the world calling a person that that come to ask us something or, and call them a dog but listen that's that was jesus and he had the right to do it Amen. he knew what he was saying and she knew what he was saying and and she knew good and well what what he was talking about when he talked said about the dogs he was talking about the gentiles Amen. And he, that's what he called them dogs now notice <clears throat> And she answered after he had said this, and she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. Amen. And so what she had heard, what she had heard before that she came to Jesus, because she was in another place and heard him preach, and, I, and, and she heard about some of the things that Jesus was doing and some of the miracles that she was doing and this made her come to him but she also re recognized hey listen there is mercy there there's Man. mercy there and so I'm going to ask him and this is why she said this this morning about yeah Lord dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs Man. and she's saying I don't want the bread I don't want the bread I don't I, I, I want I'm looking for I'm looking for bread, but I'll, I'll settle for the crumbs. Amen. And so this morning, uh, sometimes, you know, uh, we pray and we ask God for things. We ask the Lord Jesus for things. And listen, so many times uh, uh, we, we, we think, well, I'm forgotten. He's not, he don't hear. He don't understand. He don't know. But listen. Sometimes we, as God's people, uh, uh, get in a condition to where that we have not got the love in our heart like we should right. before we ask him. Because, listen, when we ask Jesus for something or God for something, we need to have a love in our heart that he recognizes and that, that, that he can answer. Now, here, I want to, uh, there's another uh, place I can I can't remember where it's at, but anyway, I wanted to read that. But uh, here, and, and in verse 29, and he said unto her, For this saying, Go thy way, the devil is gone out of thy daughter. Now you remember Amen. the same thing happened to this other guy that come to him one time and asked him about his son and all this. And he said, uh, Your faith has, has 
you've an I've answered your prayer because of your faith, and your the faith is what makes you hope. And this morning, this should encourage us, and I I am encouraged with it with the studying and with the reading. Listen, our faith. Our faith is what helps us through these hard times. Amen. And when these prayers that we pray and we ask sincerely and we think that we need them, sometimes we don't get. Listen, people just hang on. Amen. Just hang on because, listen, God knows what you need and, and he will give it to you when you need it. And listen, don't let this flesh overpower your spirit and, and, and criticize it. Amen. Because, listen, this flesh is a, is a, it's a, it's an act of hell. It's a, listen. It's a, it's a devilish thing. It's it and it's it's worse and, and it gets worse and it gets worse. And we try to we try to hold it down and we try to to counsel it and we try to do this and we try to do that. And listen, it's just like holding a slippery eel. It just slips out. Mm -hmm. It just goes this and goes that way. And, and when it goes, listen, it's it's sin. It's sin and and it's causing causing you to not have the, the faith that you should have in the Lord Jesus Christ. And so she she here she reached uh, she she got his she got his attention and listen he said here he said and, and he said for this saying go thy way and and, and when, what she was saying was the crumbs that that she 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 was she was satisfied with. They had the crumbs. And and listen, she she said, "Hey, I'm not coming to 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 get all the bread, but I'm come to get just the crumbs that fall from the table." Amen. And, and so this is this is one of the things that I wanted to read to you this morning, uh, in verse thirty. And when she was come to her house, she found the devil gone out of her daughter out going out and her daughter lay up on the bed and so here we see what jesus did now back i want to go back to matthew's gospel again in just a minute and and read to you something else here in 15 matthew 15 and 21. uh yeah uh, let's let's start with uh yeah 21 okay and behold a woman of canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him saying have mercy on me o lord thou uh thou son of david my daughter is grieved vexed with the devil but she but he answered her not a word and his disciples came and besought him saying send her away for she cried after us but he answered and said i am not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of israel now i want to look at something this morning if you would just turn right over to 10 5 matthew 10 5 Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into the and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but go rather to the house, to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. Well, now listen, the kingdom of heaven was at hand then, and Jesus talking about that bread he was the bread of life he is that he is the one the the kingdom and he's that the the one that's at hand and so he said and as you go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand heal the sick cleanse the lepers raise the dead cast out devils freely you have received freely you give Amen. now here is one of the reasons why that the disciples was trying to get her to go because of this that Jesus told them. And, and, and of course, another thing too, the disciples were not as close uh, to the Lord as they wanted, should have been. And their heart didn't go out to this, this woman as much as it should because if it had a, they would have come to Jesus and said, hey, there's a, there's a certain lady out here that needs your help. Mm -hmm. and, but no, you just send her away. Uh, and, and so he said here, Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, Amen. cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely give. And so this is what Jesus told them. And so 
they should have had a different <coughs> attitude towards this thing. Now, I want to show you something here. When he called her, when he called her a dog, I want you to turn with me this morning to Second Peter for just a minute or two while, while we read something here, what, what he was saying in Second Peter 2. Second Peter, I think it is in 20. Second Peter 2, 20, I believe it is. Here he's talking about the, the uh, things that, uh, 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 that relate to a dog and to a hog. Uh, here uh, he's talking about people that are, are, that are not saved, people that are against the Lord. Notice as he, as he says here in verse uh, 2 Peter 2, 17, these are wells without water, clouds that are carried with a tempest to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. Mm -hmm. And so for when they speak great swelling words, the, the, van, the vanity they allure through the lust of the flesh, through much wantonness, those that are clean escape from them who live in, in error. Amen. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are servants of corruption, for of whom a man is overcome of the same, he is brought in bondage. For if they after have escaped the pollution, of the world through the knowledge. And this is the key word to this whole thing of the knowledge. Because people people get it in their mind that this is a person that is saved, and it's not a saved person. But notice here, if they if after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled. No salvation. They've just heard, they've heard the preaching. They've heard that Jesus saves. They've heard that the only way is through Jesus Christ. But listen, the devil gets in their path, brings right. them out of the way, gets them out of the way, and they, what do they do? He says they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. Right. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness that after they had known it, to turn from the holy commandments delivered unto them. Now here it is. And this is the description of the dog and of the hog. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. <coughs> the dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow that was washed to her wallow in the pen. Right. Now you can find this also in Psalms 14, I believe it is. But this is why that why that uh, Peter said here the dog uh, that uh, it has happened again, uh, but it has happened to them according. He had studied this, but now notice this this dog, and I want to read I read Second Peter twenty if I can find it. If the, if the Lord will just help me just a little bit here, where I can find it, it's. Second Peter 2, I thought it was 20. Oh, I'm not right. I'm not right. I'm not right. Second Peter 22. 2 2. It's got to be. <laughs> but anyway, listen, this is what he's this is, and I, I you've heard it and you know it. But listen, I want to talk to you just a little bit this morning because we need to hear this thing. Amen. But when he talks about the dog and the sow. A, a hog, and he says that the dog has eaten something. And listen, this that he's eaten could be like a, a person that has heard uh, or, 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 or false falseness. And listen, he hears this other, and he gets sick, and he pukes it up because listen, this. Word of God has caused him to be sick, but yet, listen, he forgets the Word of God and he goes back to that which made him sick first, mm -hmm. which is sin. And listen, he, he says here through the knowledge of the Lord, he has he has had the knowledge 
He has heard some of that, but listen, he's never been saved. Right. And this, this morning, is why that so many people say that you can be saved, that you can lose your salvation, and you can be saved again. It's every word of false understanding Amen. of the people of this world because we know and understand that a person that is saved cannot sin, and if he can't sin, then he can't be lost again. Amen. Now, the sow, the old hog, listen, he uses her too. Now, you take an old hog out here, you, 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 you find it in a watering pan of muck and mar, and it's covered from head to ear. You take that old hog, and you wash him, spray him down, you clean him up and scrub him up, you perfume him, you put ribbons around him, you paint his no tails, no toenails, and listen, you put him in a, a building where there's beautiful, clean straw, and you keep that hog there, and you feed him, and you feed him, and you make him pretty, and listen, he stays in there two years. And listen, what happens to him? He is, to the world, beautiful. Mm -hmm. But now when that hog is turned out, right. he goes right back to that mark. Mm -hmm. And listen, his nature, that nature of that hog has not been changed. Amen. Even though even though the world looks upon uh, a person that goes to church all their life, pays their tithes, says I'm saved and all this listen and they uh, have a false doctrine have a false uh, 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 conviction listen that's the south for you Amen. and and you can't make nothing else out of one because listen you can do everything that you want to to a hog and clean him up and he loves it and he'll lay right there and he'll eat and he'll, but listen you turn him loose mm -hmm. and it's the same way with people People think that they, people that believe that you can be saved and lost and saved and lost. And listen, they'll go out here and they'll say, I've been saved. And then they'll go out there and get into sin and they enjoy it for a while. Mm -hmm. And then they come back and they're saved again. And listen, their nature has not been changed. Amen. Uh, I don't, I mean, you know, I understand that a person that has been saved, their bodies will sin. And, 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 and that, that brings a sorrow to their hearts. And listen, they're, they're, they're sorry of it. Mm -hmm. and, and, but listen, that's, that hog is not sorry that it went to that mar after it was cleaned up and purted and all this. And it's the same way with people. Listen, people for a while think, well, I'm doing pretty good. But you let a little something come along, and, they, right. and they, they can, you can push them over with the blow of the wind, and then they go right back. Well, if that's the way it is, I'm being saved, I'm not going. I'm going to go out here and, and enjoy the world. Hmm. And so this is why this is why this this woman she seen what was going on, and and Jesus called her a dog, and and he. He didn't mean it. He didn't mean it in a way that would hinder her. But the word dog, I'm sure, got her to thinking more about her condition. Mm -hmm. And listen, this morning, we need sometimes to be uh, told that we are not living as close to the Lord as we should. And listen, we need to every day of our life search our days out and, and listen we need to be sorry of the things that were done and try to, to get them out of our life amen. because this flesh this flesh you just can't do nothing with it amen it, it's, it's gone now i want you to see one more thing we'll 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 close matthew 7 matthew 7 6 i'm gonna read this to you criticizing one another or judging one another and the one that's got the mote in his eye and the, and the, and the, and the other one speaking to him and, 
and uh, asking him to let him cast it out and all this. But he, what does he say about it? In verse, in verse five, he says, "Thou hypocrites." Mm -hmm. Now thou, that's that's what you know. Uh, uh, to me, this is this is lost people trying to revive lost people mm -hmm. because they look and see their fault and he uses it as a mold or as a beam and they try to uh, criticize this guy and they try to make encourage him to get that beam out but listen when they're doing that they're as guilty as he is and so <laughs> that's the guilty trying to help the guilty and what does jesus say thou hypocrites mm -hmm. First cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before the swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. Now this is where we was talking about the sow in the water. When uh, she gets out of this beautiful place, she's cleaned up and she, everything, and she goes out into that muck and mar again, and that is a type of trampling the pearls before the swine. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the same, it's the same, it's the same picture, only just using animals. And so when this guy here uh, tries to tell this, his friend or well, whoever that he's got something wrong with him, and he'll help him. Jesus says to him, "Both of you is wrong. Mm -hmm. First, you need to get yourself right. You need to be saved, and and it boils down to that. Both of them are lost. You need to be saved, and then you have the love of God in your heart and the knowledge in your brain to explain to Him what happened to you and what salvation is." Amen. And so that's the way it goes. This, this is the way that these things work. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, he says here in verse 7, I'll read this to you. Ask and it shall be given you. Right. And, 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 and these many things, and it's not asking about worldly lust and stuff like this, but uh, people need to ask of the Lord for their, all of their needs, regardless of what it is, if I if I'm if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong in any way, I'm sorry of it. I want to get that corrected. And he says, "Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that seeketh, asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to Amen. him that knocketh, it shall be opened." Or what man, or what man is there of you whom, if his son asketh bread, will he give him a stone? And I think this gets down really close to our lady. Mm -hmm. Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then be evil, know how to give good gifts. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things? To him, them that ask him, and so that's the Father that we serve. That's our Amen. our Savior. Uh, uh, and if you wanted to read some more about the pearls, you can go over to Matthew thirteen fifteen, and it, it says about a, a, a man finding a pearl of great great uh, price, selling all he had, get and buying that pearl. But here, this is some of the things that that I seen in this, and uh, some of the things that. Uh, I seen I didn't uh, I couldn't get out but anyway I, I, I hope that this will, will help you encourage you uh, and strengthen you because uh, uh, we need strengthening every day of our life and, and if, if I can encourage someone today then someone can encourage me tomorrow that's it and uh, it's, 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 uh, it's, 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 it's that way and so I, I hope that something has been said that not only for us here but if there be anyone else out there watching mm -hmm. i hope that uh it'll bless them or it'll encourage them or it will educate them to the point to realize that uh without jesus christ uh they're in they're lost mm -hmm. so
We uh, thank you so much. Go to the Lord Lord prayer. Father, we thank you so much for this privilege that we have to, to read thy word and to uh, speak thy word, Father. We thank you for it. Ask that you would take this word, that you would bless it, that you would scatter it throughout the, the country, Father, and that the people might hear it. And Father, uh, understand it. We thank you so much for all your blessings. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen.